It's approaching 10.30 on Sunday, July 31st, 2016. We're continuing with our episode of the last weekend in July, 2016. And today's trip's trip has taken us to Plattsburgh, New York. Why am I here? The 2000, or the 16th annual All Ford Car Show. All right. And who are you? I'm Miles Decost. And why am I talking to Miles Decost? I don't know why you're talking to Miles <laughs> Decost. Supposedly, I guess I'm the club president for the North Country Mustang Club. You know, when I talk to my wife about what's wrong with this country, the first thing she says is term limits. Yeah. Uh, how about the my Mustang, term limit? Mustang car, the club show. I'll come every year I come. It's the same guy here. Well, don't you so, hear so, about so, term so, limits? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about term <laughs> limits. Don't you worry. <laughs> how many years, Miles? Oh, well, I've been a member of the club since its inception, 1995. Um, we took over in 2000, my wife and I, so I've been doing it since 2000, 16, as far as the club presidency. And, 16 full years? Yeah. Six. Like, even the president can only serve uh, 10. Uh, well, term, there you go, so and I'm thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've, you've lasted longer than JFK, yeah, he, he there, had four terms, but he didn't finish his fourth uh, one. I don't know if it's lasting Not or JFK, just... I mean FDR, yeah. yeah or, or foolishness, <laughs> I don't know which is, very, which is, which is better off. So, so what are you expecting today, Miles? Uh, hopefully, they tell me we're going to have a gorgeous day, so with any luck it pulls out some a lot of the uh, some cars that are here already, I've never seen here. Oh, wow. So the thing is, is um, which is nice, I mean, you know, so it, it means that the word's getting out a little bit, that we're putting on a uh, a good car show, um, you know, so it kind of draws in some f distance cars and some of the lot of local guys that got them. And finally, you know, the weather the weather is a thing, Calvin. You know that as well as oh, I definitely. do. And and today is uh, what about 65, 70 out here. Beautiful day, right? Gorgeous on the lake. day, right on the lakefront. And I mean, you know, um, the the parking lot is clean, and I mean it's not wet, anything like that. So we're do we're doing all right. So yeah, we should describe uh, where we are. Uh, in back of us is the the train station, D and H, uh, or whatever they're called now, the right. train station. And right. Right behind us here, uh, over behind me is the Naked Turtle. Correct. And is there a name for this parking lot down here? Um, I don't honestly. We call it the uh, the waterfront parking lot, of course, where we're located. Right. Um, I do not think the city has given it uh, an actual address um, because it's hard. You can't find it on the GPS. So, so we use Naked Turtle or the DNH Railroad place so people can see it from up on top, so they can look down and they can see it. So, so if you have to call 911, you can't tell them where. Well, you're yeah, uh, the sanitation plant. That's about <laughs> the thing you can tell them. That's the closest thing I think. So, but um, but yeah, no, it's a it's a gorgeous place. It's a, I mean, you know, an ideal setting for a car show really is. So, it, yeah, it is. And uh, this, of course, this parking lot was put in here uh, during the reign of. Uh, of Dan Stewart, Mayor Dan Stewart, is right. anticipating that some kind of a motel would be built here on the lake that hasn't happened yet. Right, that's if correct. If it does, you guys have to find a new location. Yeah, oh, there you go. <laughs> if they do that, we would definitely have to. <laughs> but so. you've been here about uh, five, six years? Uh, it's spot? been, uh, four, yeah, five? probably about four years. Yeah. Four years, yeah, four or five years. Yeah, so. so, but it works. I mean, the city, are, you know, city folks are very good to us. I mean, you know. Um, they provide, you know, the public works department does well with us. I mean, barricades and cones and picnic tables and garbage barrels and, you know, they have them all here for us and it's good. Uh, they're very good to us. So, I mean, you know, and even uh, the local boaters, they, they put up with a car show on Sunday for us and they kind of give us a little space and, you know, so they, you know, so they're good to us too. So, so everybody cooperates. Yeah. Now, uh, you're part of a Mustang club that runs this all four show. Tell Correct. us a little bit about your Mustang club. Well, the Mustang club, like I say, has been around since 1995. Um, it started out as a Mustang club, then we opened it up to an all Ford club. Okay. Um, so you don't have to own a Mustang. You don't have to own a Mustang to actually be in the car club. You could be in a Ford enthusiast, a Mercury enthusiast. I mean, you know, so the thing is, is, um, you know, it's, uh, uh, been around, like I say, it, 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 it's just as long as you're enthused about a Mercury or Ford product, that's that's all you need to be. Okay. Now, uh, how, earlier this week, or actually last week, today's the first day of the week. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> on Wednesday of 
this past week I was up at Clinton Community College and my buddy Larry Ebear was there singing. Right. And there's some kind of a song about Mercury's and stuff. Oh yeah. And he asked the question, are they still making Mercury's? So I said, I'll find out today. Are they still making Mercury's? Who? Uh-huh. Uh, stumped the expert. Yeah, you got me stumped. Uh, I'm, <laughs> yeah, they're, the Lincoln Continentals are still making, um, uh, I, I would, I honestly don't know, Mr. <laughs> Calvin, you uh -oh. got me. Uh -oh. um, I know they shut down some of the Mercury's, but I didn't think that, uh, hopefully they didn't shut them all off, but, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, I know a guy that w we can find out from today. He's here. <laughs> well, we, I will find out before the day's <laughs> over, though. You did stump me. You got me. So. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to do that, because I, no, I, hey. I, I was wondering about Mercury's, because my first Ford Taurus, Mm -hmm. Was actually a Mercury Sable. There you go. <laughs> Which is the same. It was the exact same thing as the same the, thing. Made know. made the same way, just a <laughs> little different body panels. That's all. Same car. Yeah. So and I and I and pretty much I've been driving them since 1986. That's when they started. And it's either a Taurus or Sable sitting in the yard, and I still got a Taurus sitting in the yard today. So. But they probably don't make Sables anymore. No, they well, don't. We're gonna find out. They, no, they, they don't. don't. Honestly, I don't think they do make a sable anymore. You're you're right. I don't think they make a sable anymore. So I can't. No, they. I, I, no, no. <laughs> I'm. All right. So we, we've stumped the expert here. Yeah. My day is complete. I can go home now. Yeah, yeah. You you got you got the best of it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know the answer, so I guess yeah. it's not really. No, I I don't see any. No. Okay. I don't see any 15 Mercury Sables running around. Yeah. It's all Ford Taurus. Yeah. It's all all yeah, Taurus. So, so they might not be making Mercury yeah. at all mm -hmm. because maybe it went the way of the uh, DeSoto. Right. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, I do know they're still making the Lincolns, the Mark yeah. series, but yeah. as far as anything else, it's all part of that Ford motor. No company. Cougars, no Tracers, uh, you know, no Topazes or anything like that. So <laughs> I think you're, yeah, you're pretty much. Done, I think so. Okay, now how many? You never know till you get to probably about two o'clock or so. How many vehicles are going to show up? Yeah, registration gets done at noon, so 12, 12 30, we'll know how many is going to you know be here type thing. So, you know, um, we had uh, 25, 30 cars pre registered. Um, so, I, I'm going to say roughly on this lot at this point, which is 10 30, you probably got 75. Ford vehicles here. So. Okay, and uh, you got all excited when Denny Egglefield showed up. Yeah, well, he pulled, he pulled up just as we. That's the man we got to go find out if they make any Mercury's with. Oh, he, then he's the yeah, Oh yeah, we're gonna expert him here in a okay. little bit. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll go over here and <laughs> get him to straighten us out. But we won't ask him till we go on camera. Yeah, oh, just, there you go. Because if he doesn't know, then we'll, we'll, well embarrass him. Uh, uh, yeah, there. He, <laughs> 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 he better know. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, you know, like last year, and I, I think was, just as I was leaving here last year, there's about 50 cars pulling in from uh, Canada, from Montreal. There was right. Like a big influx right. from Montreal. Yeah, no, I think we've got uh, a group of four come in, and then we've, you know, uh, probably got another four or five other Canadian vehicles here. So you might have eight or ten cars here so far. But uh, they kind of trickled in a couple at a time or something. No no big push at, at so far anyway, so. Okay, the the people have to be part of your club in order to, obviously no. not to show up here today. No, right? no, definitely not. No, they can be. We've got folks here from Vermont. We've got folks here from you know southern Elizabethtown. Uh, you know, uh, can of course you said Canada, so we got them from Quebec. Um, I don't know about Ontario yet. Uh, I don't think so, but uh, anything's possible. So sure, I mean it's not that far away. Yeah, just, not that far away. Just so. above Messina. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but um, but yeah, no, we you know I mean. More, on a nice day like today, you give yourself a couple hour ride. I mean, I got, well, one person came today that's been trying to get here for three years. The last two years, they'd set their money in ahead of time and then it rained, so they didn't come. So today, it didn't rain. They didn't send their money in, but they showed up. <laughs> they showed up. <laughs> so, so, you don't know. I mean, you know, it's it's hard, it's hard to say, you know, so. Yeah. Did they ask if last year's money counted for this year? No, <laughs> they didn't ask. It was a donation. We, we like I say, the, this year it's the honor flight group where we're, the char that's charity is going uh, so so the thing is is um yeah that's where the money goes this year so we've been doing it i think last year was the honor flight also and um we kind of helped them out i've a seen bit. you at a couple of honor yeah flights, so. yeah we do we do an escort thing for the honor flight wives 
Um, when they do a parade or something, generally as a rule, we help out. We get the Mustangs in the back with the wives and the, the vets get up on the float and then we bring the wives up on the back so they, because some of the, the vets don't go in there without the wives, of course, so, or That's the significant right. others. So, so the thing is, is um, so kind of helps them out. And they get a chance to ride in a Mustang, you know, so it, it's a win-win, I guess, all yeah, the way around. Yeah. So Anytime you can ride in a Mustang, yeah, well, especially if you're driving. Maybe. Yeah, well, that's it. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm a little, you got to be careful. I'm a little wild once in a while. <laughs> so. now, I think you were there, too, when uh, they uh, unveiled a new bus, the Honor right. Flight. Yeah, some of the club members were down there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I was able to make it. I had okay. something going well, on. You, but, you ought to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't think, I don't, honestly, I don't think I, we were there. I, there's so much going on, it's hard to keep track, so... <laughs> But, um, I'll, but check yeah. the, I'll check the tape. I'll but, see if you were there. Yeah, but I heard that. I'll let you know. But I did hear they had a good turnout. They had an excellent turnout. Oh yeah, excellent. Yeah. Yeah. So and that's something I, I got to find out more about because I didn't. I've been, I told about, I've been told about these cruising every. So I figured people showed up and took off and went cruising. But it's not. It's at the A and W. It's a cruise in. You cruise in. Yeah. Everybody goes in and parks and, their and car. Sit around it's, and chat. It's, and it's a Friday night car show. Yeah. Free. You know. It's a Friday night cruise in. A and W. Uh, and then they got the Dunkin' Donuts there. So yeah. they in this little mini mart type thing. They do all right. And they got music. Yeah. Uh, they got Jerry, Jerry does a music Jerry thing. Seymour. Jerry Seymour does a music, and it, it's a nice Friday night. You yeah. know. It, uh, yeah, like I say, everybody gets to shoot some breeze. And, yeah. So I've, I'm, you know. I'm planning on stopping in and right. bringing my camera and microphone. Yeah. And, yeah. Because I didn't realize it till then exactly what it was. I just thought it was just a, a stopover and everybody. Oh said, ah, yeah, no, no, no. no. It's, it's a full it, evening. It, it's a full evening. I every, mean, and every I think Friday night. if I remember right, Calvin, I think they start like four, four thirty. They get an early start of it, wow. and uh, like I say, it goes till dark probably. You know. Uh -huh. uh, and, and I mean, there's no time restrictions. You can go in for a couple hours and set around and then leave or go in all night and stay. I mean, it, it's whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, so it's a nice, nice, like you say, nice, quiet evening out type thing. And uh, the weather, hopefully the weather's good when you're there. I mean, some guys, they're pretty hardy, you know, cold, yeah. rain, don't make any difference. <laughs> we all, we, we, we all go, you know, so. But, um, but yeah, no, they do a nice cruise in there Friday night, so. Okay, so people were interested in either coming to this show or joining your club. Mm-hmm. Or both. Right, right. What are they um, we've got a club membership form online. Um, or see one of the club members. Uh, you know. Country Mustang Club. Dot org. Website, dot org. Dot okay. org. Okay. And uh, there's a membership form on there. It's $20 a year. Uh, get We do 10 newsletters a year. Take two months off. Uh, gives you all the information that we do all year long. Cruise-ins, uh, ice cream cruises. Big thing, I, Calvin, I like is ice cream. I love that. Uh, okay, I so went to last night. Oh yeah, <laughs> well, once a month right, we have a we have a ice cream cruise, and sometimes uh, well, last month we took the ARC group from West Shazy, and we went over to uh, Happy Pike okay. over on Shazy Landing over there, and uh, we uh, takes everybody for a ride over there, and some give them ice cream, and then we bring them back to the house and. Uh, you know, sometimes we take the senior citizens for a ride for I'm ice cream. A, I'm a senior citizen. Well, I'm getting there too, Calvin. Don't, <laughs> don't be pushing us now. So, you but, can pick me up yeah. and pick me for an ice cream. There I you go. Complain. That's all right. But, um, you know, and then we have our, you know, just just go for a ride night. I mean, if it looks like it's going to be a day like today or uh -huh. something, and four or five of us want to get together, just phone call everybody up, say, let's go for ice cream. I mean, you know, uh -huh. so. Um, then, like you say, you go to area shows. I mean, sometimes you go together, sometimes you go apart. It just depends on what's going on. Everybody's got going on, so. Okay. Um, you've also got a Facebook page, right? Yeah. I'm not a Facebook guy, though, Calvin. I can't tell you much about that. But it is Facebook. It uh, is on there. It is on there for the North Country Mustang Club. Um, but um, yeah, I think my, actually, my, I think my daughter runs that one, so. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to actually own a Ford, you can be an enthusiast, mm -hmm. but you know, most enthusiasts uh, own one, own one. Yeah, 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 generally, yeah, necessary. Yeah. And, uh, or Mercury, you know, right. that's important. That. Yeah, well back in the day Ford owned a, a, a quite a quite a slew of, of brands, uh, they had Mazda and they owned uh, Jaguar, uh, with it, but then they had to kind of, when the money tight, yeah. got tight, they sold off a few of them and now they're down to a few basic ones, so. Um, but um, so to stay afloat, of course. But yeah, no, it's anything under the Ford banner. It doesn't make any difference. I mean, and I've uh, seen pictures now of uh, Henry Ford crossing uh, Sox's Landing in Shazy on one of the. Uh, oh, really? On one of the uh, little 
uh, ferries they had. Oh, there. yeah? Yeah, so Henry Ford has been here. Oh, well, there you go then. That's all right. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. He's walked these grounds. There you and, go. And That's good. And floated that lake. <laughs> <laughs> All yep. right, you got time to go with me and we'll corner uh, uh, Mr. Egglefield? Uh, I can I can see what we got going on. Yeah, we can go probably right. try to track him down. All right, we're going to try to corner Danny Egglefield and, and get him on the spot and find out there if they're go. still making mercuries. Okay, we have caught the, the guy that Miles says is going to know the answer to our trivia question. Oh, it's, nice, not, it's not that trivial though, it's a really important question. It, right, is, Miles? it is important question. It's a very You're important right. question. It is important yes. question. Yes. I could be in real trouble on this one, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Egofield, aka Denny Egofield, from Egofield, uh, bro is it still called Brothers or just Egofield Brothers? Motors? Egofield yep. Brothers in uh, Elizabeth Town and also Ray Brook and parts in between. Any place we can end up. <laughs> Any place they don't throw us out of. Now, I was talking to Miles earlier this year, and he said he wasn't sure if you were going to be here because you had a real busy summer. So yes, we, we did. We had a. You managed to squeeze it in. We managed to get our our youngest married off again yesterday, and <laughs> we've gotten through that, so we made it this so, morning. So you're here. No hangover or anything. You're ready to uh, go. Well, <laughs> just nope, let it go with that, just, please. Just, that's our story, and we're sticking with you it. Betcha. You betcha. You <laughs> betcha. And I talked to you last year, and you said you were thinking of maybe having a, another show. Like I think the first time we met you was it 2010? What was it? When 20, uh, 2009. We Nine had the first big one. Yeah. Yeah, that was a. And we were going to do it again this year, but like well, I said, this we had a lot of reality yeah, that got in our way of, here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of life interferes with the uh, life interferes with what we want to do sometimes. <laughs> All right, I shouldn't ready? say it like that either. No, no, no. It's, uh, Let's it's hear this good. question. I got to hear this good question. Stuff. All right, you ready for the big one here? I'm ready for the big one. I asked this guy, and uh, you, you're probably going to say, I can't believe he didn't know the answer. But uh, I was up here a couple of days ago, and a guy named Larry Ebert, I don't know if you've ever heard him sing, but he does, he does some real good singing. He's up at the Clinton Community College singing. And he d sings this song about mercuries, and he asked the question, do they still make mercuries anymore? And I personally, I don't know, so I said, I'll ask Miles, and I know Miles will know the answer, and he was stumped. So the question is, is the Ford Motor Company still making the Mercury's or no. not? They're not. No, Mercury's have been gone for three, four years now. Um, they cut that back to just Lincoln and Ford, did away with the whole lineup. Dealers themselves were gone. Uh, so people were dealers for Mercury. Dealers that were dealers that were just dealers for Mercury are just gone. gone. Done deal. Because there are already Ford yeah, dealers was, in the area, so they couldn't uh, say, I want to sell Fords now. There are already Ford dealers right. in the area. And there was a lot of them that were Lincoln Mercury dealers, and those guys, a lot of them have still survived. But it, again, it's taken the better part of their well, yeah. all, all product away. The high end, right. the high end, not yeah, and the high end, is, high end sells well, but it, it doesn't sell in big volume. Right. Right. So right. again, the Mercury side was what kept a lot of those guys alive. It, uh, yeah, it's another era gone. It yeah, really like is. The way of the DeSoto, you know, when you and yeah. I were growing up, Miles doesn't even remember the DeSoto. No. He's so young. But. I'm not sure if we want to classify that Mercury and that DeSoto together. <laughs> no, no, but that's I mean, our, <laughs> I mean you're, talking, you're talking to Ford people here. No, no, still. Just, <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite uh, TV shows of all time, one you guys have probably never seen, it's called Corner Gas. It was made in Canada. It's, <laughs> it's a real... Doesn't use the laugh track, but it's the funniest thing, and it's yep. clean. For the, right. You know, it's a clean show. Something you can have the whole family watching. But they live in Dog River, supposedly, and their neighbors are a place called Woolerton. And every time uh, somebody in, in Dog River says Woolerton, they all spit. <laughs> <laughs> so when I say DeSoto, you want to yeah. I'm glad you didn't spit. Well, I was going to say we didn't spit, but, <laughs> but listen, we're standing here thinking about yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But, but anyway, that's a car that was... Once yes. uh, yeah. out there and is no longer there. Now right. the Mercury has joined yeah. and joined the list. But was there ever anything? I know I was talking to Miles here earlier, and I said my first Ford Taurus I bought used was a Mercury Sable. Right. Uh, or there was there ever much difference between the, the Mercury and the Ford? Was it always redundant? Yeah, I think it was. If you look back, even back into the late 30s, early 40s, uh, a lot of redundancy. The Mercury was always. Had a little more chrome, a little more, a little smoother lines in the old Fords as they came up through. But really, they, I think that's the main reason that they finally took the company away. There were so many cars that were just 
just different brand. Yeah, just yeah, a little different chrome, a little different name, and I. Uh, it's like everything else that kind of went by the wayside. Yeah, and I'm sure they had the same engineer that just yeah. you know, the same motor. And there was always a few models, you know, that that were. It's like Mercury had Unique. the. Mer yes, Mercury had the Marauder toward the end, and you couldn't buy a Crown Vic like that Marauder. I mean, okay. it was a neat car, but they just they didn't have enough to keep it afloat. Right. Yeah, and you know, like some of the other companies, they've had to tighten up here and there, and. Uh, and they tried even back in the in the 60s when they came out with the Mustang and they came out with the Cougar. And the Cougar, you know, it's sold. Oh, yeah. And there's still some neat old Cougars out there. Right. But the Cougar kind of went away, never came back. When they brought the Mustang back, or the Mustang's always been there. Yeah. But well, there was when a the Cougar. too for a while. But, right. When yeah. the Cougar faded out, it was out. You know, I think that was early 70s, wasn't it? Cougar, yeah. Yeah. 73 was the last big cougar right and they went to small ones yeah, yeah. but it uh, no it, we've kind of watched it go like I said it's been in it too long but watching it for the last 50 years you've just you've just seen it continue to to die down and the Lincoln dealers have got a tough show to go because Ford made a lot of requirements out of it that's going to be their luxury brand you know you got to have a luxury store to go with it and it's that's eliminated a lot of the Lincoln dealers, believe it or not. Yeah. Part, wow. part of the part of evolution, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I don't want you to spit again here, but no, I'm not my, my good friend Brian McBride up at the road here. Right. He shows Chevy and Subaru. Right. Yeah. The first thing GM had him do was separate. Had to build us. Had to build us a separate, separate uh, facility. Subaru yeah. Facility right next door. Yeah. And then he had to put up a whole new building. Right. For right. the Chevy. So right. it, all this, they. You know, they put a lot of restrictions on you, these big companies. Yes, they do. You know, yeah. And, yeah. and we've been through all kinds of cycles, you know, where the companies have been big help, and then you go back into a slump where it's almost like they're they're an enemy, and then you come back where they're partners again. But like I said, it, it's, it's and we're, yeah, and we're kind of in between it right now. I'm not sure where we're at, but one thing about we've had an awful good product the last 10, 15 years, um, and that's saved Ford Motor Company. It really has. So what is your biggest seller? What model would you say is your biggest seller? It's crazy. It's, it's always been like a smaller car, but of course the F-Series pickup has always been our biggest seller. I know, it's amazing up here. You go by yeah. any car dealer and there's a lot of know, trucks. three times as many trucks out there. But it's virtually anywhere, everywhere in the world if you think about it, because again, they are, they are the worldwide leader with that brand, but not only the brand, it's just it, of cars, trucks, and everything. The truck has been the leader. You know, you say that, but I live, you know, in Champlain, and mm -hmm. I, you know, a lot of Canadians are in the Price Chopper, and of course up here and throughout. When you see a, a truck, very seldom do you see a Quebec right. plate on it. Yeah. Right. Somehow, that you know, the southern part of Quebec doesn't really okay. have a lot of trucks for some reason. I mean, we're right next to rural right, Quebec, right, so right, it, right. it makes sense yeah. that there'd be a lot of them, but you don't see, a, you know, I see a truck come down and it's got a and New again, York, Vermont plate on. Yeah, again, Calvin, that's been cyclical. It, we've been through gas crisis several times over the last 15 years. Every time there's a gas crisis, of course, our focus and the smaller cars go good. The trucks kind of fade off a little bit, mm -hmm. but... The one, I guess, the one thing that's stayed stable is good or bas bad gas mileage, high or low gas. It doesn't make any difference. Trucks still sell. Still, country, yeah, yeah. still yeah. the still yeah. the biggest biggest push we've got. It really is. Maybe not in down downtown Manhattan. No. <laughs> well, no, and probably not. Yeah. <laughs> but up here in the North Country, anything else, guys, that uh, you would just love the world to know? Listen. We just love the fact that we had a sunshiny day. Here. It, was, it was Miles who did that. He, yes. He takes full credit. That's why he's serving his 16th term as president of the Muskang Club. There you go. You know, when you can do that, you can get reelected and reelected. Yeah. Re Not only that, apparently you can have sunshine. <laughs> there you go. That's it. You can have sunshine wherever you want it. There you go. All right. Okay, Calvin. All right. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Thank you. And Miles Decos. Thank you. All right. We're going to take one look around and head out. we got to get to Shazy. I couldn't remember. I said, you know what I'm sitting there? We'll show you one more time the train station here, that historic train station, and uh, up that way is uh, Bridge Street, and I think it's called Dock Street that comes down here, the Naked Turtle, and the boat launch, and so on, just right around here. So 
Uh, the last weekend, the last Sunday actually in July of every year. So today's the 31st. So I'm not sure when the uh, last Sunday in, in 2017 will be. Uh, it'll be the, uh, the 24th or the 23rd. And it can't be the 23rd, the 24th or the 25th. Uh, I have to look at the 2017 calendar. But whatever that last Sunday in uh, July is, plan on uh, that. The Mustang Club uh, holding their all Ford car and truck show. Don't forget the trucks here. It's uh, right around 11 a.m. right now. Where did the truck go? He just disappeared. Uh, right around 11 a.m. Uh, this morning, I uh, started our, this Sunday morning in Shazy. Uh, recording uh, Bishop uh, Terry Lavalley uh, installing the new pastor at Sacred Heart Parish in Shazy. And... Uh, uh, talking to Richard West after the event because I knew he'd be at the uh, Shazy Old Home Day today. And he said this year they're going to uh, move up the the crowning of the king and queen. And usually at 1, they're going to move it up to noon today. So I've got to get out of here and get to Shazy so I can capture that. So I intended to spend a little more time here in, uh, <coughs> in Plattsburgh at the car, all Ford show. But uh, got to do what we got to do. So this is our second installment of uh, the last weekend in July 2016. Uh, we started it yesterday with our look at the Ralsis Point uh, 55, 55th annual Ralsis Point Sportsman's Club barbecue. Uh, today we're here for this uh, big uh, Mustang uh, Ford uh, Pro Show here in, uh, in Plattsburgh. And our next installment and final installment of this weekend Last weekend in July will be the uh, look at the Shazy Old Home Day put on by the Lions Club. So thanks for watching and supporting viewer-supported local television, hometown cable. We can only do this if we get support from our viewers, and we sure need a lot more support than what we're going to, what we're getting if we're going to be able to keep doing this. So if you can, if you appreciate hometown cable, uh, particularly if you've never supported us, so now would be a good time and. Uh, even if you have supported us in the past, uh, we'd still appreciate uh, <laughs> you jumping on the bandwagon or staying on the bandwagon and continuing to support us. Thanks for watching Hometown Cable TV, we think, is worthy of your support.